The world is supposed to get larger and more vivid when you're a young husband and father. But Brett Gray's world was shrinking by the day as keratoconus, the vision-stealing condition, robbed him of his eyesight. An athletic student, Brett was attending the University of Oregon on a wrestling scholarship when his vision began to fail. He was diagnosed with the degenerative eye disorder in 2007, and his academic career ended. Never one to complain, Brett continued his life as best he could, marrying his sweetheart. They have a three-year-old son, and his wife Katie is pregnant with their second child. Despite Brett's stoic attitude, both Katie and Brett's mother, Christy, know the heavy burden he carries. Brett was going blind. And so when he was about to get his driver's license, he would tease me about saying, Mom, I can't really read that sign. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, I said, Brett. And he's like, I know, I'm just kidding. Well, I think now I realize that maybe he was not kidding so much. Reading is frustrating. He, especially small prints, he can't see it just from his face and he can't really see it. Um, so he gets frustrated with, you know, you get a new piece of something for your house and the instructions. He, he's like, read this to me. Christy had been doing research on keratoconus since Brett was diagnosed and the tragic truth was that her son might not be able to see his children grow up. During the 2010 Olympics, Christy saw the story of Olympic athlete Stephen Holcomb's journey from legal blindness back to normal vision. So Christy wrote to Stephen and world-renowned ophthalmologist Dr. Brian Boxer Walkler, the eye surgeon who saved Stephen's eyesight. Every time I could get access to a computer, I looked and looked and I thought it didn't take long to find Steve Holcomb's story. And keratoconus is a condition where the cornea, which is the outer lens of the eye, it, it bulges out, essentially. And it's uncontrollable and it can lead to severe vision loss. And in the past, the main treatment for keratoconus was an invasive and painful cornea transplant. Stephen says Dr. Bryan changed his life forever when he saved his sight. In fact, Dr. Bryan's Holcomb C3R, a proprietary form of cornea collagen cross-linking, is named in honor of the gold medal winning bobsledder. Holcomb C3R, for the first time, provided a successful, non-invasive way to stop the progression of the disease, affording patients a viable alternative to painful, invasive corneal transplants that can end athletic careers. With Brett, we're going to treat his keratoconus. We're going to give him back a new life. The cost of the procedure was prohibitive for Brett. But Stephen, who is so grateful for his own good fortune, paid it forward by helping with fundraising to pay for the cost of Brett's procedure. Christy also reached out to her friends and was amazed at the response she received. And I just had no earthly idea that um, people are as giving as they have been. Brett traveled to Beverly Hills from his Texas home with Katie and Christy for the procedure with Dr. Brian. It was an exciting day for the entire family. I don't know. It's, it's exciting, but I don't... It's a good deal. Yeah, and he's excited, actually. He, he's never seen our son with good vision. He's never seen it not distorted, and so I think he's excited to get home and see our son, too. Um, to be able to watch his kids grow up, you know, be able to take care of them, be able to drive safely, uh, to be able to watch TV without squinting, you know, without having to twist his head and uh, just, just be back to being Brett that's a whole and uh, not worried about being able to see and then just want him to see. Dr. Bryan performed the surgery and Brett's life was about to change forever. The next day, Brett had a new outlook on his life, which had seemed so limited. It succeeds what keeps coming to mind instead of just kind of getting by. Like. Brett had high praise for Dr. Bryan, who brought him a surprise. Okay, well, I have a surprise for you. Okay. You're all ready to conquer a whole new life and you're ready to go to Sochi and it wouldn't be quite right if you were at Sochi without wearing this hat no. to root on Stephen Holcomb and the night train. All right. Now of course it wouldn't be right if I was there with you without my hat too. 
So we're going to root Steven on together. All right. How does that sound? Sounds good. I like it. All right. Excellent. Big thumbs up because Steven, we're going to be out there. One of your, two of your biggest fans. We can't wait. And of course, can you read what it says? Go night train. All right. <laughs> and what will the soft-spoken young Texan be doing when he gets back home to his wife and son? Go to work. <laughs> okay. That's reasonable. Yeah. Look at your son. Yeah. Yeah, just enjoy life, I guess. Just before leaving for Sochi, Brett had his eyes checked. Being able to see now, there's just there's depth to everything. It's not, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's not like looking at a picture. There's actually some distance and depth to everything, if that makes any sense. The results brought Brett's dad to tears. Before he left, when he come home, um, they had the baby's doctor appointment. And he looked me in the eye and said, I love you, Dad. <laughs> he hasn't done that for a while. We all know he loves me. I could feel it in his eyes. Then he could see. Yeah. Well, it's you know not some another doctor's office. It's kind of comforting knowing people actually care. You know, mm -hmm. not just going in there. Well, you're blind. You know, get used to it. You know, it's in here. It's you know how do we help you? How do we make it better? You know, that's that's the sense I get. I'm back here from the Olympics in Sochi, and it was an incredible, and I really have to say, life-changing experience uh, for me, for my patient Brett, and for his dad. So not only did we get it to see and witness Stephen Holcomb make history again by winning two bronze medals, he's now the most decorated U.S. bobsledder in history with three Olympic medals, which is a massive accomplishment for Stephen. But for me personally, the experience that I had seeing and meeting and being among the Olympians who competed was very, very special. Um, made me very proud to be an American and to be representing Americans over there. And it gave me a new appreciation for Russia and for Russians, the people in general, because I'd never been over there.